Hey guys, it's Brian from MountainStoneMedia.net here, coming at you with another web tutorial. In this web tutorial, we're going to go over launching iTunes 11, some of the new features, what it looks like, and uh, just basically a general overview of, of what it's going to, what's the look and the feel of what happens when you click on that icon and iTunes 11 launches. What, what, what's different, what, what to expect, what might be confusing. Uh, and I gotta be honest, this is one of the first couple times I've actually launched this program, so let's see what it looks like. When I have it launched here, it's now telling me that iTunes is not my default player for the audio files. Would you like to go ahead? You know what? I am actually gonna go ahead. I'm, I don't want to see this message again, but yeah, let's make iTunes my default music player. So I went ahead and clicked yes. Don't really see any syncing. Okay, here we go. So it's gonna pop open here, it's gonna ask me uh, what files would you like to associate with iTunes 11? It looks like it's got a lot preset already. And you know what? I'll go ahead and just tweak that later. I'm going to go ahead and click Save down here. Looks like this is kind of a uh, iTunes Tutorials um, screen here. It's probably got to give me some information on iTunes. and whatnot. I'm kind of familiar with iTunes. You know, I'm an Apple user. I have an iPad. In fact, it looks like we've got the iTunes in the cloud if you're an i iPad user or an iUser, you, you might have installed iCloud onto your iDevice. And uh, so, yeah, we might go over that in this tutorial as well here. So I'm going to go ahead and click X here. I don't want to watch any tutorials. I just want to look over what looks different, what is cool. Off the bat, I can already see a few things here. This is obviously the standard Apple display screen. This is where you, you view your information, what's happening. Looks like I got nothing happening. I do have my iPad 2 plugged into my Windows 7 machine. That's what we're running here. Um, so yeah, over here in the top left-hand corner, it looks like if I click one time, I can get a new playlist going. Looks like here's some features here. I'll go ahead and look it over there. There's new playlist, smart playlist, playlist folder. Uh, looks like I can go into my library, turn on my home sharing, uh, the iTunes store. I can access it here real quick. Looks like I can sign out, um, view my Apple ID, my profile information, authorize this computer. Maybe something I should do. Uh, looks like I can add a file to the library. A lot of these are the standard uh, iTunes uh, screen there in the start screen. It's basically the iTunes start screen. I don't know what the official word is, but. Okay, it looks like here I can click on here, go to my home sharing. Uh, I, I don't have I don't have home sharing set up, so I'm not going to go ahead and go through that. Looks like here I got my cloud um, hooked up here. I do right now. I have I am backing up my cloud on my iPad, so maybe that's why this isn't working. If I'm clicking here, maybe that'll let me access my you know the files on my cloud. Okay. I do see over here on the far right we have the device that's plugged in as the iPad. It looks like a quick little button to access the iTunes store and of course the search, quick search up here. Um, basically I do have these songs synced in so these are the songs and mp3s and mp3 files or song files that I do have synced in here so that's basically my library. It looks like I can search through albums or artists or genres. Um, playlist match or whatever I like to search through songs okay let's go ahead and click here on this iPad icon here and okay so this is basically going to be the the information of, that's going on on my iPad or the device that I plugged in if I plug in another iDevice it probably it won't say iPad it'll say if I plug in an iPhone it'll say iPhone so anyway it looks like this is the information for the device that I have plugged in I have the iPad 2 um, this is the name and my battery and the gig. That's pretty cool. I like the, the looks of this. You know, it gives you the image and, you know, some nice icons. It looks nice and clean. Gives me my little serial number. Hopefully, nobody's checking that out. Oh, I clicked on it. It gives me some more information here. Okay. Um, I do I do realize that we do have I, iOS 6 available now. Um, however, my iPad is jailbroken, so... I, I, I want to stay on the iOS 5 platform as of now. I don't really know what the new updates. I like the current situation with my iPad. I don't really want to mess up the tweaks and the apps that I have installed through Cydia. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave that information alone. And I do have the iCloud. I am, like I mentioned before, I am backing up now. Um, let's see, what are these other options down here? Open iTunes when this iPad is connected. Ah, I like that, actually. When I, I do want that to launch. 
sync this iPad over Wi-Fi. Hmm. Go ahead and click that. Sure. Um, prefer standard definition videos. Convert higher bit rate. Manually manage. Reset. Looks like there's some summary in the features there. I can click over here to info. Looks like there's a lot more stuff here. So sync contacts from the iCloud. Sync my calendars. This looks like it's all iCloud stuff. Um, click on my apps here. Okay, so what it does is it loads up kind of the layout of my apps. I can sort by kind. Um, I don't understand why there's nothing here. Automatically sync new apps. Oh well. Anyway, this is kind of what the homepage on my iPad looks like. I have my little folders and a couple apps. and you know, it, it does look different because I do have, mention I have a jailbroken or city or whatnot. I do have a second screen that's blank. I like to load my i the apps from the app store onto this second screen while you know while I'm kind of demoing them. They're over here on this screen instead of in the folders. Um, so yeah, scroll down here, and it looks like okay, this is pretty cool actually. So on my iPad, it looks like it's loaded up some apps where I have created some files within that app. Um, it looks to me, I'm wondering why GarageBand isn't loading up some documents. So let's load up, let's check out Adobe Reader. Okay, so looks like I don't have too many. It's the standard Adobe Reader. I should have some files, okay, on my Korg synthesizer app that I mess around and make beats and for free downloads. Uh, looks like it saved some waves here, which this is pretty cool. This is actually useful for me because now I can take these these waves which I wasn't sure how I was gonna get them off I looks like I can get them off I can get them off of my iPad and onto my PC this way it looks like I would just save it to a directory yeah okay that's actually really cool there's a there's a cool new feature I do like going into my iPad apps to do that um, I'm not sure if that is a new feature it's something that I just learned so um, yeah it looks like I can sync some music and some movies and scroll through all of the features that are on my iPad um, yeah, it looks like I've tweaked some settings, so let's just go ahead and save those. So yeah, this is basically the general look of iTunes 11. Uh, as you can tell, it's it's simple, it's simple, uh, which I like. You know, that's kind of some of the, some of the um, some of the comments on the old iTunes is is iTunes and Apple. It's kind of difficult. It can be confusing if you're not using it all the time. You know you do get confused uh, me you know with the iPad as an iPad user you're forced to use iTunes and I like this new iTunes so there you have it guys uh, again my name is Brian from mountainstonemedia.net if you like our like this tutorial check out some of the other ones that we do have on our website and uh, yeah keep on nerding thanks for tuning in